Good morning, Lights. I know this journey has not been easy. I have witnessed you day after day, week after week, doing your very best, trying to be brave, have courage and patience. I know at times it must feel very lonely to walk this path seemingly alone. But I am here to tell you that you are not. Your Acturian family is always here to heal and love you while you sleep and while you're awake. Simply summon us as you require us. It is our greatest honor and pleasure to be with you and assist you. Maintain an open mind and heart Keep your eyes peeled for opportunities that present themselves. You are divinely directed at all times. But you will only hear us and identify our signal if you are present, quiet and patient. Multiple dimensions exist in the cosmos. We are here to help you along your path. Even if you can't see us, or hear us the way you can, your friends. We have a unique style of interacting with you and expressing ourselves. We will show you the way, but the decisions to take it or not is entirely yours. People who are deluded and unprepared for the process will be unable to recognize us. However, you are unique. They aim to rob you of everything. They want to tell you when you should get up and when you should go to bed. You, on the other hand, are not like them. The difference is that they do not love themselves enough to help others. And they have no idea how to go about their everyday lives in accordance with the universe's greatest knowledge. You are not alone. We will always be there to safeguard you. Your reality will be changed by the compassion in your heart. Do not get resentful or entangled in the drama. Keep God close to your heart and know that we are here to support you. You are very strong individuals. Have trust in yourselves and bravery. We know you'll emerge from the ashes when the going gets tough. Every day you exude warmth, compassion and love, just like the sun in the sky. We're here to support you and strive to achieve your greatest potential. The cosmos in which we live is always changing and fluxing and the only way to keep up with what is in and out is to pay attention to the current moment. Hold nothing back and enjoy life to the fullest. You, my friend, have arrived. This is where you may be found 
This is the only reality you have. We come to your world as friends and instructors, not as conquerors and tyrants. We inspire you to study, develop, and find boundless life and unconditional love inside yourself. We arrive in good spirits. We merely wish to impart the greatest information we've collected over thousands of years in order to help you recall your own divinity and live a better and more meaningful life. We may not look like you, but we have the same feelings. We may be from another planet, but we can sense and hear you. We've come to assist in raising human awareness and facilitating a worldwide ascension event. It is our privilege and honor to look after your lovely planet. Our honor is to restore the human race and the planet to its former glory as a beautiful place in the cosmos, a lovely and secure refuge. All species in the cosmos may access and share light knowledge via this living library. A lovely planet with the residents who are generally regarded as the most powerful race in the universe and revered by all cosmic creatures. Your loving heart's cries have been answered and have been heard. The intention was for you to assume a human body and join us as partners here. We'd want to use this opportunity to introduce ourselves. We are the Acturians, and unlike you, we do not have bodies. We dwell in higher realms where having a physical body is neither required nor desired. We have the ability to multitask and can hear your thoughts if you talk to us. We can give you soothing and cheerful thoughts as well as pointing you in the direction of numerous amusing coincidences. Because there is no such thing as a coincidence, they should be dubbed synchronicities. Your life is not pre-planned and you are free to do anything you want with it. You've come to make a lot of choices and to consider all of your possibilities. We want you to want and all that you learn and grow in your understanding of yourself. We do appreciate you for choosing to live in a world that is both wonderful and beautiful as well as terrible and very unpleasant. We keep an eye on you as you study and if you're paying attention you can even hear us talking to you. We provide words of encouragement and inspire you to look beyond your problems to find the beauty in your life. We live in an age of comfort and grace, love and acceptance. We so adore you, my dear friends, if only because we know what love and that love is the most powerful force in the world. You consider yourself to be unique, yet you are truly a part of something bigger. Something so big you can't even imagine it. It may be difficult for you to comprehend it right now, but it is part of the self-knowledge you want. We are so eager to work with you here on Earth since we know your current and future plans are both higher. What we're trying to say here is that while you go down this earthly road facing your own unique obstacles, remember that you've never been on your own, that you've never been alone. A friend's grin or the lightness of the spirit may be all you need some days 
to return to the higher level from which you were so forcibly roused. You've embarked on a long and winding road, and you're not always aware of what is going on around you. So allow yourself to be carried away by the wind or give it to a flower or a tree. This extra energy will be joyfully accepted by Mother Earth and you will feel at ease as you pass it on to your other earthly friends. We applaud you on your unwavering progress. Know that you're doing a fantastic job since we've seen you rise to every obstacle and we could not possibly be more proud of you. As always, we love you deeply and wish for you to have the most abundant and joyous life possible. Have a wonderful day. Driven through the darkness Looking for the sunrise Sometimes it feels like we're so far away Trying to keep our heads above the waves